Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day off with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. It is a wonderful time of year. The holidays are upon us. Thanksgiving is just one week away. It's hard to believe. Now, the thought of this might be giving you a little anxiety because, as you're well aware, the holidays always bring an unwelcome guest with them known as stress. It makes sense because during this time of year, there's such a variety of demands more cleaning, more cooking, decorating, entertaining, to name a few. Now with some practical tips, you can minimize the stress that accompanies the holiday season. Dr. Becky from Brand New Day Enterprises has some great ones for us this morning. We thank you for being back on the show. My pleasure. Okay. Thank you so much for asking me. In my clinic, oftentimes people will ask, what are some of the healthy things that they can do to try to make it through the holidays with as little trauma as is possible. Like you said, there's so much going on with the increased demands, the emotional demands, as well as the financial demands. And they've heard, and we've all heard, all of the trite, I will say the trite things. And you think, oh, yeah, I know on paper that makes sense, but those aren't tips that I can really use. So I'm hoping that today I can share some really fun, yet very practical tips to help to decrease stress during the holidays. The most important, even if you can't implement all of these, which I think anybody can probably implement all of them, but even if you have to take one, the first and most important stress-busting tip is get out in the sun. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of us that live down here in South Florida, it's easy for us to get out because the weather is so lovely. But some of our snowbirds that are tuning in and some of our vacationers that they're only here for a week or so, then they have to go back to Michigan or New Jersey or wherever, and they say, well, how am I going to get in the sun? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple of things. Number one, bundle up. Just dress appropriately, but it's important. You have to get out. If you can get out in the sun two times a day for just 10 minutes at a time, as long as you can get some sun on your face, obviously you're not going to go out with short sleeves, but if you can just get some sun on your face for about 10 minutes, two times a day, the things that that can do is phenomenal. The sun is so important, as a matter of fact, that it's shocking to say, but the American Medical Association has now actually given approval to a certain line of tanning beds. So for those people that just say, I can't get out, look for the AMA approved tanning beds so you can call some, ta if you again, if you're the guests of, that live up north, mm -hmm. if it means going to a tanning bed, but you need to get some sunshine. That's really super important. Also, and this again might seem trite, but it works so well, and that is to laugh. And so you think, well, how can I laugh? I'm stressed. I don't know how I'm going to pay for all of these things. Watch, a, you know, just turn on your favorite funny movie. Turn on your favorite comedian. Do something that, even if it's just for an hour once a week, to make you laugh. It does a whole lot to rewire the brain. Again, all of these tips that I'm going to give you are things that are going to rewire the brain so that you really are physically better capable of handling stress. So laughing is critically important. Um, turning up music, turn on your favorite music. I don't care what it is, classical, country, rock, it matters not. Mm -hmm. Turn up, again, this is, let's say you've got to get the house cleaned up, ready for guests to come and you are stressed. Turn on your favorite music, crank it up. What do we know clinically? We know that when you listen to music that you enjoy, it decreases your blood pressure, it also softens your blood vessels themselves and when those blood vessels become softer the muscles tend to relax. Mm -hmm. So again crank up the music, simple thing to do. Um, another thing that's really important is maybe to add a little bit of spice to your food and some people think how does adding spice to my food help beat stress but capsation which is a, it's found in many, many peppers, and they, they can even be in the mild peppers. They don't necessarily have to be in the very, very hot peppers, but capsation rewires the brain to slow the body and slow the stress levels down, so that works very, very well. Another tried and true that I learned when I was getting certified in acupuncture, there's a fleshy part on the hand right here right. that if you just squeeze, do the left hand first, just mm -hmm. kind of squeeze, apply pressure for about 10 or 15 seconds, then switch to the right 
And that, again, tr there's, it's a specific meridian pathway that acupuncturists use mm. to de-stress the body. So those are some great tips, Dr. Becky. Yeah, they're, they're fun easy. To, yes, can't, like I said, sunshine, laughter, music, blaring your music. Those are great. Those should be applied every day, too. Absolutely <laughs> right, yes. But, okay, so those will work. So when our viewers are getting all stressed about Thanksgiving, having to prepare the meal, or Christmas, and buying all the gifts, that's what they need to do. Absolutely right. It costs you nothing. It works <laughs> well. Wonderful. And if you want more information on Dr. Becky, you can check out the website that you've been able to see on the bottom of the screen. Thank you for being on this morning. Thank you very much. I'm going to have you back before, or in December sometime, Dr. Becky, and we'll see how you're handling your stress. That's awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> I would love that. Thank you so much. Stay with me. I'll be right Thanks. back after this commercial break.